if you are a white man, you will now be charged more for this one thing effective immediately. There's been a lot of talk about racism in America which has sparked protests and riots to allegedly push for change and promote equality. While these resolves are never what comes of the violent outbursts, what it has resulted in, is real, actual racism in reverse. However, that's apparently acceptable so long as it's anyone white who is on the receiving end of unfair treatment. It's a strange dichotomy that Democrats constantly accuse Republicans of being racist, yet they are actually racist in demands and decisions they make. This latest one being the most blatant, which was put in place seemingly as payback for white males allegedly being inherently racist. While we don't condone slavery or racism that took place in our country's history, the white males of today who were not there to support it and don't do so now, can't accept responsibility for it either. However, that hasn't stopped one ultra-Iran liberal from imposing racist justice pricing on white males only, charging them more for his product than everyone else. Despite this being actual racism, the left doesn't seem to have a single issue with it. In fact, most probably think it's genius. You won't see a riot, violence of any kind over it, despite the obvious racism it's promoting. A liberal filmmaker has just proven that real racism is an epidemic on the left. The Daily Wire reports. Super woke Canadian filmmaker Shiraz Higgins has implemented his own so called justice pricing policy, where he charges white males an extra $5 to view his movie. The 27 year old filmmaker, yes, he's a millennial, can you believe it? Is charging white males $15 a ticket and all others $10 apparently as a way to level out all that white male privilege. Higgins told the Canadian press that the justice pricing is not a publicity stunt but based on the purchasing power of individual groups and price discrimination. What's interesting to note, is that while Higgins is coming out really strong with this statement to make a point he feels justified in making, he's too coward to put his real name on his cause. He told the Canadian press that he used a false name to promote it because he was concerned about a backlash that could risk his safety. That false name for the promotion was Sid Mohammed, which was probably carefully picked. That false name for the promotion was Sid Mohammed, which we're pretty sure he picked for a specific reason. In that same crybaby claim, he added that it's a good thing he protected his identity since he says that he's already received death threats over his racist justice pricing. It's hard to know if that's true or his made-up reality to add to his point in the first place and paint the white guy to be violent. He must be confused by the actual outcome of anything and everything not racist, but perceived as such, which typically results in such violence and outrage. I've been wanting to have a layer of safety between me and angry citizens in order to keep the tension from being completely locked in on me, Higgins told the Canadian press adding he feels silly for using a false name, which he should, in our opinion since there's no need for it based on his reasoning. I feel bad that it's clearly made some people upset and that it has undermined the overall message that we're sending out here, said Higgins, who is the director of Building the Room, which is the film he's charging white males more to see. It's clearly become very heated, he said of the response. Although he insists that the pricing policy was not about retribution or putting white men in their place or something like there's really no other reason for it, especially since he gave it the name of justice pricing. If Higgins is hoping to cash in on the white guy for any reason, all of which is racist, then he shouldn't be too excited about heading to the bank just yet. Just as it's his prerogative to charge people whatever he wants based on their gender and or skin color. Consumers can also choose to not play into that disgusting game and probably don't want to see his rhetoric-riddled film anyway. It's not a stunt. Liberals believe this garbage. Liberals think it makes sense to charge someone more money because of the color of their skin, young conservatives reported. That's the literal definition of racism. They don't see it this way, they see it as spreading awareness, waking people up, creating equality through divisiveness, and making things fair again for one race which suffered unfair treatment years before this current generation was even born. If it were reversed, there would be riding over this already, real death threats and actual violence because of it, not just conversation.